Our final stage is to make some holes in the top of this disc here so we can hang some pieces of string on there just so we can hang it up on a hook of some sort. So what I'm going to do is put this back down onto my bench hook just so I can see those pencil lines and see where my pieces of string are. I'm going to have three strings coming from the other side so they're all going to be 120 degrees apart. I'm just going to get my protractor Just like before, we're going to drill straight through this piece of wood. I'm going to use that same circular line here that we've got the strings attached to. I'm going to use the same diameter. I'm going to go onto that circle. got my three, three holes, 120 degrees apart, however, on one of them, I'm going to do a double hole. You'll see why in a minute. Right. on top of those pieces of string, like that. And now, one string I'm going to thread through this hole. And the other string goes through the other hole. Nice big knot in the end of it. Do it two or three times just to make sure that knot is nice and big so it won't slip back through that hole. So it can be a little bit fiddly, just be patient. Take your time to make a nice big knot like so. Do the same on this piece of string. that it won't go through the hole. Good. That one does. Sorry. 
as you can see, we can hang it up nice and easily from that washer. And by allowing that string to go up through the washer, down through the double hole, and then back up and the other hole, it allows it to balance itself out so it's all it's going to hold it nice and straight. <laughs> right, we'll try that part again. So, got myself a piece, another piece of string without the knots in it. We're going to thread that through the double hole. One. Two. Pull the end so it's as even as possible. There we go. And then we're going to thread our washer onto those pieces of string. Notice I've gone for a nice big washer, it's an M12 washer with a nice large diameter hole there. Then we take both ends, one end we push through this hole. The other end will push through the other hole, like so. This time we'll just make sure we tie some nice big knots on the end, so bear with me. I'm going to be quite patient this time. Notice as I'm pulling the knots tighter, I'm just sliding into place just to help get those other knots on top of the previous knot. So it's not guesswork, you are actually just feeding the knot into the right place with your spare fingers. You can make that knot bigger and bigger. Right, the moment of truth. And there we go, our own personal little wind charm. And hopefully Mr McVitie will like this, because when it comes to the next house music competition, if you can't think of an instrument, you can all bring your own personal wind charm in and play a little tune for Mr McVitie. I'm sure he'll appreciate it very much. Cool. Good luck. Take care.